All right, guys, so a little bit of a change of scenery here. So I'm actually doing this on a larger platform. Obviously, it's on my bed. So um, we're going to be reviewing the Rode NT1 condenser microphone, which is this little box right here. I'm going to do some cinematic footage and add some of my music onto that. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started and um, let's see what this box is about. <laughs> All right, so that's what the box looks like. You can see what the microphone is. It features the NT1 microphone, the SM6 shock mount and pop filter. The, oh, it has an additional XLR cable. I like that. So it has an XLR cable and a dust cover, which is cool, I like that. 10, 10 year warranty, 48 volt phantom power, which means I can actually plug in that thing over there. And a detachable pop filter. The Rode NT1 is a large diaphragm condenser microphone suitable for a wide range of studio applications, delivering warm and round bass and detailed mid range and smooth high frequency reminiscent of the world's famous mics coupled with exceptionally low noise. The NT1 is a definite Definition of a workhorse studio microphone, a modern classic. So obviously you can see all the details there. Oh, that shit's flipped around. All right, we'll fix that. I don't know if you can guys can read the details there, but um, you can see pretty much everything there. See the little picture of what, how it's supposed to be set up, along with the the boom arm that's right here. So we do have the boom arm here, PSA one. Let's go ahead and unbox this and see what this is about. Um, My trusty little knife. Okay, how do you open it? <laughs> there we go. Main packaging out of there. Put that to the side. There we go. What's in the box? We have four smaller boxes. Some paperwork. What is this? Oh, a blue ring. That is uh, um, helpful. It's a blue ring. If you guys don't know what a blue ring is, it's basically... So the basically what the blue ring is, is basically keeps the, the XLR in place. Any XLR microphones. Larger larger kinds would be the... For the speak on cables and smaller XLRs and things like that. Some one uh, quarter inch jacks and things like that. So this is very helpful. Depending on who you talk to, what, what the setup is. Okay, so we got one. We got this and we got this. So three big boxes, it's all white inside. Everybody gotta make white boxes. All right, why everything gotta be white? <laughs> why everything gotta be white? Let's check out these boxes here. Let's see what they are. Ooh, so first thing that pops out is the bag. That's pretty decent. Feels kind of flimsy, has gold in it. I like it so far. It's not too bad. I mean, it doesn't have quality, but it's not, you know, it doesn't feel cheap, but I guess that's... Oh! <laughs> the main attraction. Look at that, folks. It's the main attraction. I was not expecting that. Okay. Well, since we're already here... Okay, that feels, uh, that feels good. It's heavy. Like that. That's what the mic looks like right there. Full metal. It's a full metal jacket. That's what that looks like. I don't know if you guys can see the inside or anything, but you can see... Does this come off? No. So if you can see on the inside there, the um, the gold um, receiving transceiver, something like that. Yeah. And you can see the XLR on the inside there. All black. I don't know if, they, if, it, if it actually comes in silver or not. Yeah. So let's put that to the side. We got the cables. Nice XLR cables. It looks like a long cable. See an XLR on both sides, male and female. So yeah, that's a, that's a heavy cable. So we got the pop filter here. Okay, pop filter. It might turn around a little bit. Well, I guess that, I guess that doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, whatever. And one of my favorites. The shock mount. So if you guys don't know what a shock mount is, the shock mount basically keeps it from all the bumps and hits and injuries and all that stuff. And it consists of two rubber bands on both sides and usually is full metal along with the um, microphone. Now before this I had a um, MXL V87 microphone which cost me $300 and that microphone did the job. But this was like about, I say about 10 years ago. Somewhere around there. So what I'm going to be using this microphone for is basically to do a, uh, a live podcast. And I'm surprised this is all black. Oh, this is actually turned around. 
I guess it doesn't matter, is it? No, it doesn't. You can see that there's two screws on both sides. Two sides are uh, right there. You go. There you go. So two uh, two screw mounts on both sides. And this is actually pretty cool. I like this. This is where you put the microphone in. And so now it looks like that. Obviously, you put the cable at the bottom, XLR cable at the bottom. Now you have a full working studio mic from Rode. Oh, this could be used for the GoPro. Well, it doesn't matter. Let me just put this right through here. So now you have a working studio mic for your podcast. Check, 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 one, two, three. Check, 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 one, two, three. So now we're gonna go ahead and record, or not record, but let's go ahead and unbox the studio boom arm. All right, this is the boom arm. So this is the boom arm from Rode. This is what you would put the studio mic on or the condenser mic on. I guess I didn't explain what each mic does. So um, an, omni an omni-directional mic, um, basically use that to like, say if you go to like a, like a um, concert of some kind, the microphone, you have a, mic a microphone that has a little ball in it. Those are omni-directional mics. This is a condenser microphone. And then you also have ribbon microphones. So if you've seen, um, if you ever watched Dave David Lever Letterman, I um, mean, his channel, he has like a little microphone, some kind of like a little funny looking microphone on his desk. That's basically a ribbon microphone. It's used um, in certain situations, like uh, radio stations, things like that, depending on who you talk to. So I meant to, I, forget, I forgot to really talk about those kind of bones. And then there's the ones that are like in, uh, acoustic microphones and things like that. All right, let's keep going. So this studio arm rotates 360 degrees, maximum each. 32 and a half inches horizontally and 33 inches vertically with a thread adapter. And it has two desk mounting options, two axis swivel mount for accurate positioning. I gotta whack somebody with this. Bah! <laughs> Crack him inside the head. All right. All right. What is this? Shiny. Very shiny. Look how shiny that is. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. It's very shiny. Look how shiny that is. I can see my own reflection. Let's see, we got some paperwork. So whatever that shiny thing is came out of this little box here. Got a nice little nut here. Take a look at this, see what this is. Okay, so this looks to be, oh I, oh, I see. So this is the table mount that you can put on a table. So yeah, this is the table mount. Um, this part here is metal and this is plastic. And I think this is the foam. So yeah, this is that's basically what it looks like. It's actually pretty cool, I like that. That's a different design. I was thinking it was gonna be something like a, like a, something out of a metal, metal thingamajig from a web working shop or something. All right, for the second main attraction. Already popped out, look at that. Oh, it's a spring loaded. All right, there's a little caution there that says, spring loaded. I shall be aware of that. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Definitely spring loaded. <laughs> yeah, that, that goes quite up quite a bit. Okay. So that's the, uh, the boom arm here that I might have to figure out to control. So it is definitely sturdy and heavy. You can see, I think one of these sides Ah, I see. It's upside down. So it goes like that. Something like that anyway. And then the arm comes down. So yeah, that is the boom arm. You gotta figure out how to bump this up a little bit. Or something like that. So it goes down. But... Hold on a second. Okay. So we got that. So now the trick is to Okay, it's holding. It's holding. <laughs> it sure is. The fucker's holding. 
yeah, it's holding. So yeah, so that's what that looks like. <laughs> that is definitely uh, worth something there. And we just put the mic right in there. All right, so that's what it looks like, basically. I'll later have to set this up and everything, but put that right there, and then you got your own little setup. So yeah, that is the setup and boom mic for the podcast. I'm gonna be starting pretty soon. If you like this particular setup and you would like to see more of this, please reach out to me. Destroy that like button, hit the share, put some comments in, let me know what you think, and I'll try to put some more stuff up for, up for you guys. The total cost for this, for the boom arm and the microphone as a package is $400. And you can get it from either Amazon, Sam Ash, Guitar Center, b and I don't know if you can buy, find this at Best Buy, but you can find it at many different places. So what I'll do is I'll drop the link in the description. Tell me what you think if you buy if you like this, and um, we'll basically take it from there. I will see you guys in the next set of videos. Oh, and I am still have yet to review the the Big Knob from Mackie. So the Mackie Big Knob is coming out, plus a few other things. So stay tuned for that. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Oh shit, they're about to fall apart. Whoop, there he goes. Alright.